Hey guys, it's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Welcome if you're new. We are finally in the season of spring. Spring is here. I'm so excited because that just means summer is on the horizon, you know? But with spring comes new fashion trends and I wanna go over 15 spring fashion trends that I've been seeing right now. So with fashion trends, obviously it's not something that you have to incorporate all, but you can see what kind of trends are out there for the spring season and use the ones that you like to incorporate into your personal style. So the first trend I've been seeing is cowboy aesthetic. This has been huge. I know Beyonce just dropped her Cowboy Carter album. We've been seeing how she dresses when it comes to that cowboy aesthetic. Obviously also because she's playing paying homage to Texas and her culture. But I've also seen Rihanna have on a cowboy aesthetic. I've seen it on the runway a little. So cowboy aesthetic is here to play for this summer or this spring and summer. I've been seeing a lot of people rock the cowboy hats and just different elements in terms of cowboy. So you obviously don't have to wear like the whole cowboy uniform, but if you want, you can kind of implement different elements of the cowboy aesthetic. So whether you're choosing to wear the cowboy hat, cowboy boots, suede, cow print, even sometimes like the faded jeans or the vest. You can use some of those elements and implement them into your personal style and play with it and see how you may like it. Me personally, I don't know if that's my thing, but I love seeing how people bring it to life. The next trend is pinstripes. I've been looking a lot into like spring and summer items that I want to get for the season and I'm always into pinstripes. I love pinstripes. I love especially like the blue and white pinstripes, but I've been seeing this come up a lot lately with pants, with shirts. It's coming up everywhere and not just the typical standard black and white or blue and white. I've been seeing it in colors like red and white, green and white, purple and white, like red and, did I say red and white? I don't even know, but pinstripes have been coming up and it's really, really, really cute. And I especially love when people do like the blue and white pinstripe and pair it with the pop of color. It just looks so nice for spring. It gets very classy and put together and it just gives, you didn't even have to do too much to put that together. The next trend is denim. And when I say denim, literally everything denim. For the first denim, I've been seeing a lot of like balloon jeans. So kind of like these baggy jeans where the ends are a little bit more circular towards the bottom. So I've been seeing that. I also have been seeing faded jeans. And when I say faded jeans, kind of like this vintage wash jeans where it's denim, but it kind of has like that beige look to it. I've been loving those. I do have me a pair, but I love when I see like the dark the dark denim with that faded look on it, it looks so, so, so nice. And the way some people pull it off, adding color or, you know, keeping it simple with a white shirt, it just looks chef's kiss. And then on top of that, I've been seeing a lot of denim on denim. I feel like this comes back around every once in a while, but this denim on denim, I've been seeing a lot lately too. So that is something that you can play with. I know one thing about it, most people have jeans or some type of denim wear in their closet. So that one isn't too hard to implement if you're someone who likes to wear denim. This next trend is one of my faves. Y'all know I love jewelry. And when it comes to jewelry, the trends that I've been seeing when it comes to spring and I know going into summer has been chunky jewelry and layering necklaces. I have been loving to see the girls adding more jewelry, more accessories into you know their wardrobe and just kind of bringing a different dimension to their outfits. So I've been seeing a lot of like chunky bangles, chunky bracelets, big earrings, layering necklaces. Some of you have probably seen that popular in route jewelry brand with the cross necklaces and the pearl necklaces that everyone has been wearing. But even that goes to show like people are starting to come back and layer their necklaces, just adding more dimension to their outfits. So for me, I've always been more of like a maximalist when it comes to jewelry. I just love jewelry so much. So I've been loving to see the girls add more jewelry into their collection. And I know for some of you who may be a maximalist, y'all like, I love that the girls are catching up. <laughs> but yeah, anything with jewelry, wearing, even I've been seeing a lot of gold and pearl. People have been having like the pearl in the middle of their earring and then like it has gold around it. But this is not only for the gold girlies. I've been seeing a lot of people do this with silver too. So whether you're a gold girly or you love wearing silver jewelry, this trend is for both sides, okay? 
and one thing to know i do have a jewelry collection video coming up i did shoot it i just have to finish editing so i'm really excited for you guys to kind of see some of my jewelry and get more places where you can shop some jewelry for the summer the next trend i've been seeing within the fashion industry is this rose floral print kind of incorporation into some of these clothes so we all know rose is basically like the monarch of flowers and a lot of designers have been incorporating this into their outfits. It's kind of crazy to think because back in my junior year of college, I remember wearing certain clothes and they would like put roses on it. If I can find a picture, I'll incorporate it, but they would put roses on the flowers and kind of like sew it up. Not real flowers, but like, you know, flowers that you can wear on clothing. And now they're coming back. So I love to see that. I love to see trends go out, but then come back in. So this is one that I've been seeing, whether it's in dresses, shirts, pants, you name it, the roses are calling. <laughs> I'm personally not much of like a floral person when it comes to prints. I personally stray away from them, but if you are someone who loves floral prints, flowers and all of that, that is coming back in specifically though with the roses. So y'all know when it comes to certain seasons, there's always colors that come into play. And for this season, I've been seeing red. And honestly, red has carried from fall to winter to now. Like it's still popping up. And I love that because my favorite color is red. And I honestly feel like red is one of those colors that is just like a great pop of color. Whether you're wearing black and white, whether you're wearing denim, whether you're wearing all white, and just certain colors that complement it, you know, on the color wheel. But red is the color this season that I've been seeing popping up time and time again. So if you wanna add and incorporate like a red bag, you know, maybe a red bow in your hair, red shoes, a red skirt, a red jacket, like go get you some red pieces if you don't have in your closet. I support that because red is my favorite color. So yeah. <laughs> get you some red especially just for like pops of color this next trend that i've been seeing it's so crazy to think because when i was younger i used to hate these pants <laughs> but i've been seeing wide leg pants or otherwise known as like bermuda shorts the shorts that kind of go to your knees but they're very very wide at the bottom i've been seeing that come into play this season like a lot in kids and adults like i've been seeing it all over i recently got me a pair <laughs> crazy especially after i said i didn't like it as a kid yeah but i did get me a pair from this company called edge by no style and y'all like it's really really cute the only thing is i would say you definitely have to incorporate your own personal style when it comes to this for me i'm a very girly person when it comes to my style i'm like girly chic comfortable yeah girly chic and comfortable for the most part so i tried on the pants that i bought and for me it makes me look like a boy when i put it on and incorporate it so i have to dress it up possibly wear heels with it just to kind of bring out my personal style with the pants but for you you may like wearing it with sneakers you might like wearing it with a jersey for me i know i have to dress it up because i feel like i look like a boy in it but these pants have been coming back into style and i love to see how everyone kind of incorporates it whether they dress it up or they dress it down this next trend is very y2k coded i've been seeing a lot of belts come back and not just any belts <laughs> not just any belts i've been seeing the wide belts come back that people put over their shirts or their dresses and uh, i don't know how i feel about it too much but with some people's style it looks really nice and other people's style i just I, I can't get into it the next trend i've been seeing is mixing styles so you know everyone has their own personal style some girls are really girly some girls love to dress athletic some girls love to dress like very comfortable and casual but i've been seeing some girls kind of create their own persona so incorporating a little from each and creating a whole new outfit so whether that's like wearing a jersey with a skirt or wearing like athletic leisure with something that just 
you wouldn't think it's supposed to be paired with each other you know so i've been seeing that i've been loving it a lot i don't know how i would incorporate this but i've been loving to see how the girls incorporate this into their own personal style even mixing prints i've been seeing some people mix like different animal prints together or mix stripes with something else so it's just something unusual that you wouldn't think goes together but when you see it you're like mm. That actually looks really, really nice. So I've been loving to see that and I have to see how I would like to incorporate that because I actually like that trend. This next trend I feel like has been a trend since last summer or even before that, but this trend is cargos. Cargos haven't left since last year. It's been coming back and back and back again and it's still here to stay. <laughs> so I've been seeing a lot of cargo pants, cargo skirts. I don't know if it's just that cargos are really comfortable and they can be dressed up or dressed down is the reason why it's still here but i'm here for it i have a lot of cargos and i would love to still incorporate them into certain outfits that i have which i still would even if it wasn't a trend because cargos are really really comfortable and i love that they have so much pockets if you're someone who loves cargos i do have a how to style cargos video on my channel so i will link that down below if you're someone who's looking for more inspiration on creating outfits for the spring and summer this next trend i've been seeing is kind of like office chic so taking typical off-wear clothing and adding a modern twist onto it. So essentially I've seen this piece from Shop Akira. I love how it's a typically kind of like a button down but it's half of it and it has an added tie onto it. And it's just something that you wouldn't kind of expect someone to wear on the outside. Like it just has a different edge to it. It's very edgy and just, you know, takes it up a notch. So just kind of taking and playing with different office wear and incorporating that into your casual going outfits. I know a lot of people do this already when it comes to blazers, wearing blazers and then having your casual outfits, but this is taking it up a notch. The girls are choosing comfortability this spring and summer, and with that, I've been seeing a lot of ladies wear sneakers. And not just any sneakers, I've been seeing a lot of Asics, New Balances, Adidas Sambas, and this has been going on since kind of like last fall, winter, but it's still carrying into that spring and summer. So I know the girls are choosing comfortability. And on top of that, they do have some cute pairs in some of these companies that just elevate your outfit. I personally have been loving this. I don't know if it's also because I've been seeing the ladies actually stick with fitness this time around. Like a lot of ladies have been sticking to the gym, being disciplined. So maybe that's also why the sneakers just kind of give that comfortability. It's something that you could wear outside, something that you could wear to the gym. But yeah, that is something that I've been loving to see this season. I personally want a pair of New Balances, so that is something I'm gonna look into this spring. Next, I've been seeing a lot of trench coats, and I know sometimes trench coats fall mostly within that fall season run, but it's crept its way into the spring season, and I love to see it. I love that people are still kind of layering their clothes a little bit, and being that it is spring, it's still kind of cold. It hasn't hit that like spring summer. It's still on that like winter spring kind of run where it still has its cold days, at least here in New York. So I've been loving seeing people still incorporate their trench jackets into the outfits. Next, I've been seeing a lot of linen pants. And I think this just really goes back to comfortability. Like everyone just wants to be comfortable. When it comes to linen pants, we all know linen pants are lightweight. They're very soft, they're very flowy, and they're just easy to put on. <laughs> they're not tight, and that's one thing I feel like a lot of people are loving, the just comfortability that comes with, you know, just put on linen pants and going outside. The last trend that I have for you guys today is texture. I've been seeing a lot of texture. And when I say texture, I'm talking about fringe, I'm talking about ruffles, I'm talking about lace, I'm talking about sheer. I've been seeing it all and I love this because the girls just get an extra element to play with when it comes to dressing up. And I truly, truly love this. I know a lot of girls have been loving this style called like coquette. So that's kind of like where I've been seeing a lot of like the lace and the ruffles in. But overall, this element just kind of adds an extra dimension to certain basic outfits. With that being said, these are all the trends that I have for spring and kind of falling into summer as well. Let me know down below in the comment section, which of these trends have you already been loving? 
which of these have you wanted to incorporate into your personal style for spring and which of these you just don't like <laughs> let me know down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and until next time bye guys